local inflammatory response. So before we proceed, we have to understand what is inflammation. So briefly, inflammation is the response triggered by damage to living tissues such as wounds inflicted by sharp objects that carry pathogen on it such as bacteria. So the local inflammatory response is a defense mechanism to protect living tissue from infection and injury. So the main purpose is to localize and eliminate the injuries agent and to remove damaged tissue components so that the body can begin to heal. So the local inflammatory response characterized by redness, warm, swelling, which is edema and pain. So one of the process is during local inflammatory response, including mast cell at infected or injury site release histamines. So these histamines have two functions. Number one, cause vasodilation of nearby blood vessel. And then uh, the histamine also increase, increases the permeability of nearby capillaries. So vasodilation of local blood vessel increases the blood flow to the injury size. So this causes the area to become red because more blood flows to the site. Also, uh, the blood flow to the injury site can cause the area to become warm because more metabolic heat is carried by the blood. So, increased capillary permeabilities leads to the release of fluids, blood clotting elements, and pagocytes. So, the pagocytes including monocyte and neutrophil. So, this uh, leukocyte or these two white blood cells can carry the stars as a pagocytosis. So, this happens on the injury size. So, increased capillary permeability also leads uh, the edema, which is tissue swellings, and pain because of the pressure on nerve endings of on the regions due to edema. <clears throat> Next, blood clotting elements will wall off inflamed area to prevent or to delay the pathogen or toxics by the pathogen from spreading into surrounding tissue. So, one of the white blood cell or leukocyte which is neutrophil can carry out phagocytosis. So at the same time, this neutrophil secretes signaling molecules that attract monocytes, which will differentiate into macrophages. So macrophages can carry out the phagocytosis. Activated neutrophil and macrophages also release cytokines. So these cytokines can increase blood flow to the injury site, injury site which also leads to redness and warmth. <clears throat> Pagocytosis by phagocytic cell leads to formation of pus that is a mixture of dead pathogen, tissue cells, and phagocytic cell. So in this figure is a major events in a local inflammatory response. So in this case, <coughs> the injury is caused by this splinter that carries the pathogen on it. So so this muscle will release uh, the histamines. So the histamine can cause a vasodilation of nearby blood vessel. So vasodilation of local blood vessel increases the blood flow, the blood flow to the injury site. 
So, uh, release of histamine by muscle also increase the permeability of uh, this capillary. So, increase capillary permeability leads to release of the fluids, blood clotting elements, and phagocyte, including this macrophage and neutrophil as well. So in these fluids, uh, consists of the blood clotting element. So blood clotting element will roll off inflamed area. This inflamed area to prevent the spreading of the toxic uh, by the pathogen. So at the same time, this neutrophil do their jobs to carry out phagocytosis and also secrets signaling molecule that attract more monocyte so monocyte will differentiate into uh, macrophages and these macrophages can carry out phagocytosis so in this case macrophages can do a phagocytosis neutrophil also can uh, do the task as phagocytotic cell <coughs> And finally, phagocytosis will digest pathogen and cell debris. And lastly, the tissue is healed. <laughs> Next, systemic inflammatory response. So, toxin released by pathogen and macrophages will release pyrogen. So these two, uh, these two toxin and pyrogen can increase body temperature and lastly can causing the fever. So the benefit of fever, fever promote phagocytosis by phagocytic cell, inhibits the growth of some pathogen by stimulating the liver and spleen to store iron so that blood iron level is reduced and the benefit of fever also accelerates tissue repair by speeding up chemical reaction 